<laughs> this is our raised bed. It has lettuce, broccoli, and Swiss chard. What kind of lettuce is this? Bib? Romaine. This is romaine lettuce, broccoli, and Swiss chard. He has more black seeded Simpson planted in front of it. More black seeded Simpson in front and on the side. This is our bed with turnip greens and turnips. This row is all turnips and turnip greens. These buckets have broccoli, all broccoli in the buckets. This little raised bed area, well, this area has cilantro and hopefully blackberry bushes next year. Blueberry bushes, more lettuce <clears throat> in our fig tree. This area has lettuce, carrots in the raised bed, Alan's transplanting broccoli. This bed is going to be our garlic bed. And we have a good stand of garlic coming up now. Looks like every single clove we planted came up. Let's see. These hills have broccoli. This row has seed that we saved from last year. Some of it is bok choy. Broccoli down the middle. What do we think this is and this is? Bok choy. And toy choy on the right. <laughs> so toy choy, broccoli, and bok choy in this row. I don't, we're not real sure if that's what it is when it came up from our saved seed, but it tastes good. This we have curly leafed kale, red Russian kale, and another kind of Siberian kale growing in this row. This whole row of three different types of kale. Over here we have our green onion bed. Multiplying onions, green onions, a few carrots coming up in there too. Over on the side we have lavender, sage, chives, all of this is going down for winter but hopefully we'll come back in the spring. This is oregano, and to the left of it is thyme, and then rosemary, and another bed of lettuce, and a volunteer watermelon that's dying. Here on November 23rd, we have a pear.
these are our mushroom ricks that are doing absolutely nothing. We'll see what happens with those. Here's our strawberry bed. Pepper plants. Jalapeno peppers. Oh, and this is a banana pepper. <laughs> banana pepper. And then four jalapeno peppers. And I'm five feet eight inches tall. And they're almost up as tall as I am. Again, have no clue what this thing that has volunteered is. Some sort of green with a white root. These are our beautiful chicken girls. Hey, sweet babies. Good morning. Are you going to pick the camera? Say good morning. What? Boop, 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 boop. Going through a little bit of a molt right now. <laughs> good morning. Hey. Ow. <laughs> They are hoping for goodies and I brought them nothing. All right, here we have carrots that need weeding, beets, and rutabagas. Here are snow peas or sugar snaps, sugar snap peas, and one is in bloom. They're starting to bloom. Hopefully we'll get some peas before it gets too cold. <gasps> One of our tomatoes is blooming. These tomatoes just volunteered and we actually have one blooming. Kind of fun. Snow peas. Sugar snaps. Sugar snap peas. Sugar snaps. <clears throat> okay, coming back up this row. This is the stretch of row that was decimated by the squirrel family. This is, is this broccoli again? Collards. These are collards. Row of Georgia collards. And that is romaine lettuce. And another kind of lettuce. Bib. Bib lettuce. Collards, bib lettuce. This is another kind of Swiss chard that's green. Green Swiss chard. Another kind of sugar snap pea or winter pea. A lone jalapeno left doing well still. Don't know how long he'll survive before it gets too cold for him, but still doing well as of now.
and that's it.